everyone, and welcome to another lightened up Weight Watcher friendly recipe, and also my very first recipe video that I am doing in my new home here in Montana. So today what I'm gonna be making is a lightened up version of a recipe I already have on my channel. I did it a few years ago, and it is cheesy broccoli puff. Now this is kind of an old school recipe. It's been around for a really long time. It's very, very good, it makes a great side. It's just a little too high in points, so what I'm doing with that is I am lightening that up today to make it more Weight Watcher friendly, lower calorie, all that good stuff, but it is still very, very tasty. So we're gonna be having steaks tonight and we're gonna have this alongside those. So I thought I would just go ahead, turn on my camera, film this for you, and like I said, this is my very first video in my new house, so I'm a little disorganized still. We're actually not even totally moved in yet, but still wanted to take you guys along with me and show you this one because it is so very easy but absolutely delicious so let me jump into ingredients real quick first off you're gonna need some broccoli I've got 24 ounces of cut frozen broccoli here you could definitely use fresh if you wanted and I typically like to use broccoli florets but I couldn't find a big bag of the florets so I'm just going with the cut broccoli today Next up, you're gonna need two large eggs. In here, I've got a couple tablespoons, probably a little more actually, because I love my onion, of a minced red onion. You're gonna need a can of cream and mushroom soup, 98% fat free. And then here, I've got some of these Ritz cheese crispers. I'm gonna be using these this time. In fact, the last time I made this, I used these and I thought it was really good. My original recipe I have up on my channel has Cheez-Its in it. Those work well, um, regular Ritz work well, whatever you wanna use. This is what I've got on hand, and like I said, the last time I made this, I used these, and I think they tasted really good. They added just a little extra cheese flavor because they have that kind of powdered cheese on them. But you're gonna need four ounces of these, and I'm gonna just weigh those out. I did remember to bring my scale with me. So next up, you're gonna need some fat-free plain Greek yogurt, a half cup of this. And then I'm gonna be using today this Lucerne Reduced Fat Mexican Style Blend, or Mexican Style Four Cheese Blend cheese. This is the only low-fat cheese I've been able to find around here yet, um, but it is very comparable in points to the uh, Kroger that I used to use all the time. So I'm gonna give this one a try, and you're gonna need one and a quarter cups of this. Next up, I've got my preferred light butter spread, which is the Bremel and Brown. I'm gonna be using two tablespoons of this melted. And then finally, you're gonna need a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And that is everything that's gonna be in this. So let me get it started. First thing I did was I got a pot of water boiling here. I'm gonna add in my broccoli and I'm gonna just cook it according to the package, which it says let it boil in there for five to seven minutes. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to drain this and set it aside. But while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and mix up the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and weigh out my cheese just because I like to, um, when I can weigh out stuff. So it's gonna be one and a half cups or five ounces. So I'm gonna weigh out five ounces. I'm sorry, one and a quarter cup or five ounces. It always seems like when you weigh it, you get more. So <laughs> I like to weigh it. So that's five ounces of the cheese. And then in a Ziploc bag, I'm gonna weigh out my crackers. Tear that out. And again, you can use different types of crackers in this if you want. Regular Ritz, Cheez-Its, different types of Cheez-It flavors I've used besides just the uh, plain one. So I'm looking for four ounces of these. So that four ounces is gonna be 16 points. If you wanted to use less of these, you absolutely could to lower the points on this overall, but these do add a ton of flavor to this. So I like to use about four ounces. The um, original recipe calls for a cup crushed of Cheez-Its, and that's about what this equals to once you crush it. So 
that's what I'm gonna do with these next is I'm gonna close this up. And then I'm gonna take a rolling pin and smash these up until they're in more like crumb form. I don't like that. So now I'm gonna set those aside and work on the next step. So in a large bowl here, I'm gonna add in my two large eggs first. And whisk those up really well. I'm gonna add in about a half teaspoon salt, a little bit of black pepper, probably about a quarter teaspoon. My half cup Greek yogurt, and unfortunately I cannot find my half cup measuring cup, so I'm using my liquid one. My can of 98% fat-free cream of mushroom soup. You could also use cream of chicken if you want. I've used both in this and they both taste good. My onion. And then I'm gonna give that all a really good stir. I've got that all nice and stirred together. So now I'm gonna add in my cheese and then my broccoli that I've got drained over here. And I've also got my oven preheating to 350 right now. Broccoli. And I'm gonna stir all of that together really well. Like that. Now I'm gonna take a eight by eight inch casserole dish and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of cooking spray, which I forgot to show in the ingredients list, but I will have it down below in the description box with the ingredients. And I'm gonna just pour this in. And I love these silicone spatulas because you can get everything out of your bowl pretty easily. So now I'm gonna smooth this in here like that. And now I'm gonna take my Breville and Brown, I'm gonna take two tablespoons of this, add it into a bowl and get that microwaved and melted up. So it'll only take about 30 seconds in the microwave and then I'll be back. Got that melted and now take my crushed Ritz, and sprinkle those on the top as evenly as I can. Now I'm gonna take my butter spread and kind of pour that over the top of the Ritz as evenly as I can. Okay, now this is ready to go in the oven at 350 uncovered for about 40 minutes. Now this is a new oven and every oven cooks slightly differently. I'm going to check it around 30, 35 minutes and see how it's looking, but I will be back once it is done. Okay, I let this cook the full 40 minutes. It's looking good. So now I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit before I cut a serving out. Okay, I've got a serving of this, which I have cut this into six, so, so this is a sixth of the total, which is a pretty good size serving, actually, and you don't need to have this big of a serving, if especially if you're having this as a side, but I typically do make it and um, cut it into this serving size, and that's what I've got it in as in the recipe builder link that I will have down in the description box below. But again, you could cut this into eights. I've done that before. And then it's only five points. So whatever you wanna do. But this size, the serving size of a six is seven points. Uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. I love this stuff. If you make this in the original version, not lightened up, it's a whole lot more points than that. So definitely think it's worth seven points. It's cheesy. It's got so much flavor going on. Great way to get in your broccoli, especially if you have kids. My kids both like this, so it's very kiddo friendly. But yeah, just a very good, easy side dish. You could have this as a main dish if you wanted. You could also add like chicken to this or whatever to make it more of a main dish. But this also pairs well with like grilled chicken breast, something like that which would be zero points. And then the fact that this is seven points doesn't necessarily matter if you pair it with a low point main. But anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys because I love it so much. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you try this, please let me know. I always love to hear when you guys try my recipes. But thank you, as always, for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one.